Helmets are basically what symbolizes a college football team. And fans, well, they're obsessed with their team helmets. And some of a nation's most obsessive fans are in the Big Ten. In the Big Ten, we ranked all 14 teams' helmets. Yeah, there's 14 teams in the Big Ten. Doesn't make any sense, I know, right? So we ranked all 14 Big Ten teams' helmets from worst to first. Now keep in mind, we did not rank alternative helmets, second helmets, throwback helmets, just the team's primary helmets. Before we get started, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, and let's start off with number 14. Rutgers as a Big Ten school is so forgettable. You would have thought they'd at least put some effort into their helmets but they did not. Zero effort on the helmet, the football team sucks, the helmet sucks, and they come in at number 14. Number 13, Illinois. Now, the Fighting Illini actually have a colorway they could work with. The colorway is good, so that's why it's so sad that these helmets are so bad. They come in at 13, but they have a lot of room there they could actually work with and become a much better helmet. Number 12, Maryland. Maryland is another team you might simply forget is in the Big Ten, but they are simply just not a football school. So yeah, Maryland has tried some sweet uh, alternative helmets in the past, but remember, we're only ranking the primary helmets, and their primary helmets look like they were designed in, well, primary school. Number 11, Purdue. I sound like a broken record here. Remember, this is just the primary helmets because they do have the helmet with instead of a stripe, the railroad tracks, and those are pretty sick. Now, there's not too much to nitpick about this helmet. It's a fine helmet, but overall pretty boring, and it comes in at number 11. Number 10, Penn State. The traditionalists are about to come at me hard now because I probably just offended a huge amount of people over the age of 50. Sure, if this was a helmet ranking based on iconic helmets, it'd probably be much higher than number 10 in the Big Ten. But come on, there's a reason schools redesign their helmets later on. It's just a plain white helmet with a little bit of blue on it. Overall, it's boring and it comes in at number 10. Number nine, Northwestern. So it's purple, I guess that's something a little different about it. The N itself is kind of kind of creative. It's a block with little slithers in it, but overall boring. Number nine, Northwestern. It's a school not known for football. It's tried its best to get better at being known for football and its helmet's not really helping much. Number eight, Minnesota. So the alternative helmets for Minnesota are actually pretty slick and sleek and those whole entire jersey designs are good, but we're talking basic, plain and simple, all um, the bread and butter helmets, and these ones are just kind of boring. Minnesota should actually look to adopt the one with the actual gopher on it as their main helmet, because I have to say that is pretty good, but overall just a average helmet, that's why it came in at number eight. Number seven, Michigan State. Overall, this isn't bad. The colorway is actually pretty dope. But with a mascot like a Spartan, you can do a lot more with the helmet, in my opinion. Michigan State, alas, has done its best, but that's why it comes in at number seven. Number six, Indiana. From here on out, I actually like all the helmets left on this list a lot. Indiana actually got pretty creative here with the helmet in a sneaky way. They threw two stripes on the helmet instead of most schools that throw one, and the I and U kind of look like a pitchfork. Overall, a very, very sleek and cool helmet design. Overall, it would just be awesome to see Indiana turn into more of a football school. I'd love to see that. They're not right now, but overall their helmets are good. And you know what? Helmets do help recruiting a lot. For five, Nebraska. Ah, the good old Cornhuskers, one of college football's most iconic schools. Some people may not actually like this helmet, but the colorway of white with red and the simple N on it is sick to me. I think it's sweet and I really like it. Sick ass dude. Oh, some might say I'm being hypocrite by ranking Penn State so low and Nebraska so high, but I'm sticking with my guns here. Aesthetically, I think the helmet looks sick. You know, just having that simple N on it pops off of the red. So overall, Nebraska comes in at number five. Number four, Wisconsin. You might ask me, hey, George, what sets Wisconsin apart from Nebraska? The helmets are pretty similar, right? Well, simply the big ass W on the helmet really stands out more than the N. And it has like the little shadowing on it. Overall, aesthetically, it looks really cool. I know it might look like it was designed in the 1990s and not, you know, in the 2000s, 2020s, 2010s, et cetera, et cetera. But overall, a pretty cool and bold helmet to me. 
and it really symbolizes Midwestern football. Number three, Iowa. The Hawkeye helmets are pretty sick. The colorway of the black and gold pop off the screen to me. Some people think maybe having a bird on their helmet is kind of corny. I beg to differ. They're the only school in the Big Ten that actually went with an animal on the helmet as their primary helmet. Leak, strong, and overall a great helmet for the nice people over in Iowa. Number two, Ohio State. People love stickers. Ohio State Buckeyes helmets have a ton of stickers, but okay, it's much more than that. Overall, the helmet design is strong, and there's something about that Ohio State helmet with the stickers on it that really pops off on TV during primetime games, so they come in overall at number two as the second best helmet in the Big Ten. Before we get to number one, drum roll please, number one, Michigan. Michigan isn't the country's first program to use the wing helmets. They sure are the ones that made them look so iconic and so damn good. Maze and the blue really set these off the screen and they scream traditional college football. And overall, the wing helmets of Michigan might not only be the best in the Big Ten, but maybe one of the best in all of college football. All right, let's go ahead and recap all 14 helmets of the Big Ten from worst to first. We had number 14, Rutgers, 13, Illinois, 12, Maryland, 11, Purdue, 10, Penn State, 9, Northwestern, 8, Minnesota, 7, Michigan State, 6, Indiana, 5, Nebraska, 4, Wisconsin, 3, Iowa, 2, Ohio State, and 1, Michigan. And that concludes our Big Ten rankings. If you missed my SEC rankings for the best helmets in the SEC, the link is right here for you. And please subscribe and like my channel. I cover the world of sports, travel, and culture around sports. So if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'm George Georgiou.